Welcome to another tutor short provided by the Educational Support Services Department of Lehigh Carbon Community College in Snexville, Pennsylvania, which is just outside of Allentown. These videos review key learnings for the science courses provided here at LTRIC. And please remember that the Educational Support Services Department does provide walk-in tutoring five days a week. Let's take a look at pH and POH. This video, uh, apologize ahead of time, I'm going to be going fairly fast. There's a lot of information to present here. Um, what's uh, good about a YouTube video is you can um, replay it a few times if you want, catch uh, as much as you can each time, and uh, look at it at your leisure. Um, and like I said, apologize for speeding through this one. Uh, in my previous video about acid and bases, I mentioned how water is unique um, in that uh, pure water, this equation up here, uh, will do a, a small amount of dissociation into the H3O plus and OH minus ions. And uh, I represent here with a small red arrow uh, that there's not a lot of dissociation into the ions, but there is some always um, in a solution of water. But most of it, as a blue arrow represent, most of uh, water stays as a water molecule, H2O. Now what was noticed um, was that what we call here the ion product constant of water. But what was noticed that the H3O plus and OH concentrations um, multiplied together in water will always equal 1 times 10 to the minus 14. Now this concentration here at, at nice pure water with no acids or bases, you're going to have equal concentrations of the two ions. Uh, at 10 to the minus 7. Now this concentration is in molarity, which is moles per liter. And you should be familiar with that concentration term. So if you take the product of these two, if you multiply the two concentrations, you'll get 10 to the minus 14. And that's true uh, for neutral water, but also if you add acids and bases, water will always dissociate uh, and have ions uh, that balance, not balance out, that multiply together the products uh, to 10 to the minus 14. So if you look here in the bar chart, we say the neutral position here, each of these ions are at 10 to the minus 7. And you have equal concentrations. Now, if we add an acid to water, remember acid is a proton donor, and it provides um, H+, plus, which in water immediately converts over to H3O+. Plus. It adds H3O+. Plus. So if we go from neutral, which we just said was 10 to the minus 7, and let's say we increase the H3O+, plus to 10 to the minus 3, remember with a negative exponent, the smaller number is the larger. And that's reflected here in the bar on the left, the uh, red. So now we have 10 to the minus 3 of H3O plus ions. But what happens, because the constant, the multiplication of these two is always 10 to the minus 14, that forces the OH concentration down to 10 to the minus 11. Um, you multiply these two, you add the exponents, so uh, the product is still 10 to the minus 14. And so now you have an acidic situation because you added a bunch of H3O plus and your OH minus has dropped down to 10 to the minus 11. And the reverse happens if you add a base to the solution, to a neutral water solution, you will increase the OH minus um, concentration. In this example, we went 10 to the minus 4 and therefore your H3O plus dropped down to 10 to the minus 10. So that's uh, an important concept to remember in water related to acids and bases. Now, the next um, information I want to provide or uh, learning skill here is the term of pH and pOH. Well, in order to make life a little bit easier, say, in a, in a typical day-to-day -day with chemistry. Uh, obviously, people don't like to deal with all 10 to minus 7s and 10 to minus 10s all the time. 
Uh, and so someone, uh, I wish I should have looked it up to who come up with this, but somebody knows that if you took minus the log of numbers like this, let's look at the, uh, the ion product constant. If you take minus the log of 10 to the minus 14, you get a nice simple 14. It's essentially the exponent of 10 with a positive charge. And so that's a nice mathematical way to get a nice, I'll say, whole numbers. And so you, again, look here. pH is uh, looking at the H3O plus concentration. Um, and that would be the log of the H3O plus concentration. And then pOH. Uh, similarly, is minus the log of the OH minus concentration. And so again, if we stay where it neutral, 10 to the minus 7 on these, you'll see the pH is just 7. And if you have 10 to the minus 7 OH uh, concentration here, your pOH is 7. So if we look, go look at our uh, bar chart here on the right, we show also on the chart the pH, pOHs. Uh, your pH scale, 0 to 14 down to here. If you have 10 to the minus 3 um, hydronium ions, you reflect this just comes over, you have a pH of 3. And if that's a pH of 3, you know your uh, OH minus concentration is minus 11, so your pOH about here is going to be 11. And if we look at this next one, say our um, H3O plus is at 10 to the minus 10. That means the pH is around 10. So it'll be a basic situation. And our OH minus is going to be 10 to the minus 4. So the pOH is 4. So this is a, a nice way to have some um, even numbers uh, involved or whole numbers involved. And there is a way to further complicate things. And of course, uh, that's what we like to do in colleges as we're teaching people, is what if you don't have a nice even number uh, like 1 times 10 to the minus 7? Um, that is easy to do minus the log and get 7. And what if you have 5 times 10 to the minus 8? That you just can't do in your head. Um, and so you're going to need to be able to use your calculator and uh, be able to calculate minus the log of this. We're going to call this the H3O plus concentration. Uh, you'll need to learn how, you know, which keys and in which order you need to use on your uh, calculator in order to get this answer. And if you do it right, you'll get about... 7.3. The only hint I can give you um, is a way to double check your answer. Your answer, when you take minus the log of something, should always be close to your exponent on your power of 10 here, uh, only positive instead of negative. So uh, if, you, if you had ended up with a number like 3 or 3 point something, uh, you should reflect that no, it should be pretty close to 8. Uh, and you know you did something wrong with your calculator. So let's use a way. Again, we'll use our example here. 5 times 10 and a minus 8. So you can take minus the log of that, and you get 7.3. If they ask you, um, say, as a, an example problem, you're given that the pH is 7.3 and they ask you what is the H3O plus concentration, you need to be able to work backwards from uh, 7.3 you need to get to your uh, H3O plus concentration. And the, the nature of a log basically that's 10 to the 7.3 and a change sign. So Sorry, let me make that a little cleaner for you. Um, if your pH is 7.3, 
if you want to find that, you need to take 10 to the minus 7.3 power. And if you do that on your calculator, you should get about 5 times 10 to the minus 8. So you need to be able to go in reverse also, uh, not just forward for, uh, taking the log of the concentration, but be able to reverse the log and go back to the concentration. So you need to be familiar and uh, capable of doing that. And then, you know, to even further complicate or make your uh, homework assignments more challenging, um, if they, they gave you this, 10 to the minus 8, and they said, what is this number? What is your OH minus concentration? Uh, a couple of ways uh, to do that, but a simple, uh, not simple, uh, one way to do this is to take this formula and to solve for OH minus, minus, you would take 1 times 10 to the minus 14 and divide it by the 5 times 10 to the minus 8. And again, you need to be able to do that on your calculator to get an answer here. Uh, you can, um, this particular number I picked because it's a little bit easier to do by hand. Uh, one way is to uh, make your um, coefficients here or their numbers in front of your scientific balance out. If I take this as 10 and then because I increase that, this will be minus 15 over 5 times 10 to the minus 8. What's nice is you can look at this and say, well, that's 2. And then the exponent here, because you're dividing by minus 8, um, you should be aware you, you bring this up, change the sign, plus 8. So the sign down here would be minus 15 plus 8 or minus 7. So your answer is 10, uh, 2 times 10 to the minus 7. And you could do that on a calculator, which is probably a lot faster, or if for some reason you don't have a calculator, you can uh, try to do it by hand. But if it's not a nice simple number like 10 over 5, then uh, you probably want to just use your calculator. So hopefully that is uh, a good review for you on uh, pH and pOH, and uh, good luck in your studies. Thank you.